how's it going everyone? It is Skullzy here with the latest and the greatest gaming news. Today I have a new Starfield discovery to show you all and this comes to us straight from the Starfield Discord community. I believe Paul Roll over there originally made this discovery and it found its way to me thanks to the members over on my Discord server as well. So huge shout out to Paul Roll over on the Starfield Discord. And this information isn't anything groundbreaking but it is actual 100% confirmation of something that the majority of the community was kind of in an argument over ever since a statement by Todd Howard was made back in 2018. You know, take an animation system change um, that we're doing uh, right now. We're finishing for one of our projects, though that's a project that's in pre-production getting a new animation system, whereas the one that's in full production is using the old one. Todd Howard did an interview and stated that their next project was going to use a complete new animation system, and a lot of people weren't sure if Todd Howard meant Starfield or if he meant the Elder Scrolls 6 because he certainly didn't mean Fallout 76, but now we know that he certainly meant Starfield, and this is even more evidence of just how big this huge engine overhaul of the creation engine was that Todd Howard was talking about recently. Now the source of this discovery comes to us from Eric Braun's LinkedIn page. Eric is a senior programmer at Bethesda Game Studios and he has been ever since January of 2014 so he is a long Bethesda Game Studios veteran and his specialties are actually low-level animation, facial animation, general character movement and controls, focused animation systems and just pretty much animation movement and stuff like that and that is actually pretty interesting because that's something that Bethesda Game Studios kind of needed to step up in their recent games. Their animations seem to kind of feel a little dated in Fallout 4 and Fallout 76. Fallout 76 did a better job, so I'm actually excited to see what this entire new animation system is going to look like in Starfield. And the actual confirmation that this is happening is right here in his About section. For Bethesda Game Studios, I've been busy replacing Havoc Behavior with a custom animation system for Starfield, and all future Bethesda Game Studios games, including The Elder Scrolls 6. It features graph-based editing, live monitoring, in-game animation rewind tools, predictive foot IK with bone scaling and retargeting high-quality compression and a very high level of performance. And this gets me super hyped because I am by no means a technical expert when it comes to the gaming industry, especially when it comes to animations. I've done some work in the Unity engine and the Unreal engine, but I'm by no means an expert. I do know that animation is one of the tougher things to do very well in the gaming industry, so Eric Braun must be a super talented person, and I am very hyped to see what this entire new Starfield animation engine will look like, because I believe this might be like the first time Bethesda Game Studios has ever seemingly built an entire animation system from the ground up. It says in here that they've used Havoc Behavior custom animations in previous Bethesda games, only now this new thing is going to be completely rebuilt. And like I talked about in previous videos, there are still people arguing that Bethesda Game Studios is still going to use the same engine, even though Todd Howard said they are doing like a huge rebuild, and in terms of the gaming industry, that technically means a new engine, because you will almost never see a gaming company just completely scrap an engine unless it has some major, major issues that they couldn't improve upon, because almost all game engines can be improved upon, and even the newest version of Unreal is still using original code from the very first version of the Unreal engine. That is just how stuff works. Works. Code sometimes can't really be changed, it can only just be further built up from, and I kind of think that's what's going on here. It seems like the game engine that Bethesda Game Studios uses, the creation engine, is actually a modular engine that has different pieces and parts taken out of it, improved upon, and put back into it. A lot of game engines work this way, and at least in terms of the animation system for Starfield, we do have 100% confirmation that this will be a completely new rebuilt from the ground up within Bethesda Game Studios. Studios animation system, and that gets me super hyped. Like I said, this might not be completely new news for a lot of people, because for people who have been like keeping close tabs on Starfield and Bethesda Game Studios, you'll know that Starfield almost certainly was going to use a new animation system based upon like job postings and previous statements made by Todd Howard. Only those statements were kind of convoluted, and you didn't know if he meant Starfield or The Elder Scrolls 6. I, I kind of knew he meant Starfield, or at least I had a very strong educated guess, and now this is actually 
actual confirmation from this LinkedIn profile. I mean, Eric Braun isn't going to put completely made up stuff on his about section on LinkedIn. LinkedIn tends to be a pretty professional site and judging by his actual LinkedIn profile, he has multiple different endorsements from multiple different people in the gaming industry. So I'm going to take his word for it and I'm going to just go ahead and say this basically confirms Starfield. We'll be using some awesome new animations. While I guess I can't say if they're going to be awesome, I can say that I believe this definitely is the first time Bethesda Game Studios has done this, so if their animations were ever going to have a major improvement, this would definitely be the time. I hope to see the third person animations for the main player character to be vastly improved as those have been kind of wanting for a long time, and I hope that these animations and this like foot detection system and just physics in general for Bethesda Game Studios games can finally enter the new generation of gaming. I mean, Red Dead Redemption 2, even though it's called a clunky game, in my opinion, it did do animations and a realistic physics system and like actual foot placement and all that stuff very, very, very well. And I hope we can see even a shred of that in Bethesda Game Studios games, including Starfield, The Elder Scrolls 6, and beyond. I believe that Bethesda Game Studios can actually totally knock their animation system out of the park from third person to first person and just make the game even more immersive, that that would be a huge level up for their games. And that gets me super hyped. Bethesda Game Studios games have always been some of the most immersive RPGs, and if they can kind of fill in their weak areas in terms of game development and where their games have been lacking, I would be so stoked to see what their future holds for us. And Eric Braun seems to have done a ton of work for Starfield and just the future of Bethesda Game Studios games as a whole. He seems to have kind of spearheaded the development of a major animation system that Bethesda can finally call their own, and I just can't wait to see what this looks like. As always, let me know what you think about all of this down in the comments below. What do you want to see from Starfield or just Bethesda Game Studios' future animation systems? Is there something specific you'd like to see? Let me know what that is down in the comments below. That's going to finish up today's video though. This video was brought to you by the following amazing people, and if you want to get a video shout out like this, you can support the channel over on Coffee, Patreon, or here on YouTube as an exclusive channel member. If you've supported the channel recently, be sure to tune in tomorrow for the updated version of this list, and links for all of these are down in the description below. And as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to tune in next time when I better get some damn blueberry cereal. I haven't had any of this stuff for like the last few years. It's my favorite cereal. It's blueberry. It's good. It just works.